Welcome back, everybody. Another uh, review, I guess is the best way to put this one. This one is for a current Kickstarter that's out there. And I'm going to go ahead. It's by Wormworks uh, Publishing. And I, I myself, I am not a fan of this. Um, let, let, let me go ahead and, and play the video and uh just uh and then I'll, I'll i'll hold my comments till after welcome to limitless heroics disabled people exist in the real world so let's welcome our disabled friends into our fantasy worlds here you find quick answers like what about spellcasters that have speech impediments or amputation with somatic components what about emotional disability and a barbarian's rage you can accurately represent visual or hearing impairments make a fighter with ptsd or anxiety or chronic fatigue and represent the entire autism spectrum. We have everything you need for an inclusive game. Like, why do you have even disabilities if you have healing magic? There's tables for physical and mental symptoms, over 450 symptoms with 5th edition mechanics, hundreds of assistive options, over 90 assistive magic items, and an implementation tutorial and handouts for your players. You can combine symptoms to represent complex disabilities, however you need to combine them, and with varying degrees of severity. Disabled, neurodivergent, and mentally ill people, in the world that we want to imagine, you're there. Let's make this fantasy a reality. Back Limitless Heroics. Thank you. Now, with this, I have a major issue with because uh, it, it's come up on a few streams that I've watched. And truthfully, with the way that this is all like laid out and, and whatnot, if to me, if you're playing this and you don't have these disabilities, the issue becomes... Uh, that you're essentially, if you are um, playing this, I, I hate to say it this way, but I mean, it's true, uh, that you are essentially this no better than in the early 20s from people who were performing with blackface. That To me, this is the exact same thing. So unless you actually have that disability, uh, one of them that I saw in there was attention deficit uh, syndrome, which you know, I, I myself have. I have ADD. And the big thing with this is that I don't play a game to have that in my game. I play it for escapism, to get away from reality. You know, one of the things in there says, well, why do you have this if they're healing magics? You shouldn't. These should not be viable players for you to be able to do things with. And the the big thing for me is that, you know, I th this is my personal feelings. Okay? I'm going to say that first and foremost. You know, lay, lay the cards out. You know, if you have the healing magic, you shouldn't have people with these issues. It, it's just plain and simple. This is, to me, a slap in the face to everybody who has a disability. Because I don't know anyone who would sit down at a table and want these type of mechanics in play. And it is... To me, it is wrong. It, it makes me sick to my stomach to see this because why do you need this in your game? You don't. It's about escapism, not realism. This comes back to what our friends over at Legion of Myth go over with the RP game. Escapism, not realism. You can have things, tropes that are, you know, put into the real, you know, into the real world just to make the connections for the players. But as a DM, I would never use this ever. And the thing is, is that 
and like I said, you know, it is basically the if I were to come on here and put blackface, I get banned immediately. And I'm sorry, these folks should be on that on the instant cancel. This should not be back. This should not be even a thing because it it, it has no place within the role playing community. It really doesn't. And, you know, I, I give kudos to the people who sit down and, and wrote these rules out and things like that. Don't get me wrong. If you want to play it at your table, that's fine. Play it at your table. But I can tell you right now, I would never pick this book up for my table because they there's already enough rules out there. And trying to keep in mind with things, this comes back to the the whole thing about the combat wheelchairs, about all this other type of things that are not needed. Because you, as an adventurer, should not be adventuring if you have these things. You know, if you have someone who's colorblind, you sh probably shouldn't be, be adventuring. If you have someone who has a mental illness, you shouldn't be adventuring. You know, if you have a, a person that has problems speaking and a spellcaster, guess what? Anything with semantic components is going to be, it, it, it's not going to work. It just doesn't. So, you know, I, 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 I was very leery of doing this, but a few people asked me, you know, what my thoughts on this were. So I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and get, get my thoughts out there. And, you know, if, and I'm going to say it again, if you want to play this at your table, okay, cool. It's your table. You can play, play it how you like, but my personal opinion is that this has no place at the table. And, you know, that's kind of my two cents. Welcome to Limitless Heroics. Disabled people exist in the real world, so let's welcome our disabled friends into our fantasy worlds. Here you find quick answers, like what about spellcasters that have speech impediments, or amputation with somatic components? What about emotional disability and a barbarian's rage? You can accurately represent visual or hearing impairments. Make a fighter with PTSD or anxiety or chronic fatigue and represent the entire autism spectrum. We have everything you need for an inclusive game. Like, why do you have even disabilities if you have healing magic? There's tables for physical and mental symptoms, over 450 symptoms with 5th edition mechanics, hundreds of assistive options, over 90 assistive magic items, and an implementation tutorial and handouts for your players. You can combine symptoms to represent complex disabilities, however you need to combine them, and with varying degrees of severity. Disabled, neurodivergent, and mentally ill people, in the world that we want to imagine, you're there. Let's make this fantasy a reality. Act Limitless Heroics. Thank you. Thank you.